So another issue we have farming is disposal of the plastic wrap. Now, as you can see, we've got, I think Arnie did 1,980 round bales this year, which is high for us, but it was a good hay year. So a lot of that will be like this in dry form and it'll be stored in um, the barns. But as most farmers know, getting dry hay that's fully dry, which means the moisture count is so low in it that when you wrap it in a bale like that, all tight together, it doesn't mold. Because the slightest bit of, bit of moisture will cause the hay to act up and mold. And animals, especially sheep, are very um, intolerant of any type of mold whatsoever. So um, if they eat mold, they can get listeriosis and die. Uh, so you have to be very, very careful with the feed you're feeding to your sheep. So as a result, nowadays many farmers, us included, will wrap their hay. We do individual bales because um, that's what works for our operation. Some people use um, big plastic bags, which works better for them. And some people have these silos, which they fill up and they're set up for TMR, which means they, instead of storing them in plastic, they can store them in the silos and they use a TMR mixer and feed the feed that way, uh, which is fantastic for those who can afford that. Um, a silo and a TMR mixer and all the equipment to feed TMR is quite expensive. So if you're a regular Joe Blow farmer like us, um, we do have the silos, but um, the way our feed bunks are set up in all the barns, uh, we have to feed um, it differently, which means no TMR. We feed hay uh, directly to the sheep. We are trying to keep it as natural as possible by feeding the hay because um, we're selling mainly breeding stock and because our sheep are allowed out on pasture and they're eating just dry hay basically, for people who buy the sheep, our sheep will be able to adapt to many different situations. They can uh, adapt to pasture system systems because uh, they already have done that here. They can eat just regular dry hay because we do it or if they're real lucky, they can go to a TMR farm and get the uh, elite feed. And they'll be super happy about that. So they can eat anything. But what we found is when we buy in sheep that have come from uh, an operation where they only feed TMR, it's so hard to get them to switch over to real food. Uh, for grazing, they don't understand grazing. It, they have to learn how to graze if they're from a con confinement farm, totally confinement. And if they're totally TMR, uh, they they kind of hold their noses up at this dry hay and say, what what on earth is this? Like, we're, we're special. We need the fancy stuff. So for us, for our customers, I guess, um, our way works well because our sheep can pretty well go to anyone's farm and eat whatever they're going to serve up and they'll be satisfied with that. We've actually bought in sh uh, sheep from pampered farms and stuff and actually the sheep have died um, because they just will not eat. So there is a problem with this method though, this plastic method and I mean you want to be as environmentally friendly as possible but plastic is not friendly and we have to get rid of it and that's what Arnie is doing right now. We have a big garbage bin here and we're loading up the plastic and then it's being shipped away and I'm hoping that they are going to recycle it but I don't know but I and I don't know how other people deal with the plastic on their farm 
but really it would be so nice if somebody would invent a type of plastic that was biodegradable because this is a lot of waste. It's expensive and for us and it's waste. And some people might say, well, just go to straight dry hay. Like you're 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 being greedy and you're you're caring more about yourself than the environment. But what we really care most about is our sheep and our sheep's health. And the rat bales, they preserve the uh, the hay. So if it wasn't totally dry, it will stop it from molding. It's like putting saran wrap over a sandwich that you've made. It will stay fresh for quite a while. Whereas if you just left it out, it would go moldy. And like I say, mold is toxic for the sheep. So this keeps, gives us feed that's going to be healthy for the sheep and not mold and it will last us for a year and uh, yeah the main goal is that the sheep don't die with what we feed them and if it's a rainy year or and we can't get the feed in they have to eat something and the plastic wrap saves a lot of farmers because if you don't get the feed in, you've got to sell your sheep if you don't have enough uh, stored up. So it allows you the flexibility, right? But uh, yeah, it's a problem, the plastic. And I heard that in the UK they are um, trying to develop um, a biodegradable plastic. And uh, I would love to find out if anyone ever gets that because uh, I know we'd uh, buy it right away. But it's not that farmers are trying to be uh, polluters. We would love it not to be this way. But we have to look after the animals and do what's best for them. And sometimes, yeah, it's all a conflict between the environment and health. So what we depend on is the engineers and scientists to discover something that will help us farm more efficiently and in a more friendly fashion. That's my lecture. Bye for now.